Mr. B. <laughs> Hello, friends. I have a big word to share with you today. Hey, Mr. B, did I hear something about a big void? <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I like big voids, Mr. B. What's the word? Well, the word is syllable. Ah, sil uh, sil silly. Sounds silly, Mr. B. <laughs> Every word has at least one syllable. Bosco, your name has two syllables. Bosco. One, two. I don't understand, Mr. B. Well, let's try another word. How about the word big? How many syllables are in the word big? I don't know. Big. One. Uh, I think I get it. Let's try a bigger word. How about butterfly? Butterfly. Well, how many syllables was that? Three. That's right. Butterfly. One, two, three. Well, let's try a harder one, Mr. B. How about hippopotamus? Oh, that's a good one. Well, let's clap it out. Hippopotamus. One, two, three, four, five. Five syllables. That's a lot of syllables. It sure is, Bosco. Well, it's a big word. Well, practice your words and practice counting syllables. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> The void of the day is here. H E R E. Here. Where did I go? Here I am. <laughs> H E R E. Here. What is this color? What is this color? Purple. What is this color? White. What is this color? Silver. Q is for queen. Qua, qua, queen. My time. What's the mime doing today? What's up there, Mr. Mime? Oh no, I, I think it's raining. I think it's raining inside of his room. Oh look, he's got an umbrella. There you go. Use an umbrella and stay out of the rain. Good job. Uh oh. Oh no, I think it's windy in there. The wind's catching his umbrella. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no, there he goes. The wind took him right off the screen. A makes two sounds, A and A. A makes two sounds, A and A. A is for alien, A, A, alien. A is for apple. Sounds A and A. A makes two sounds A and A. Syllables, syllables, silly, silly syllables, syllables, syllables. How many syllables? Powerful. Powerful. One, two, three. Powerful has three syllables. Powerful. <laughs> silly, silly syllables. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, ah, 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 oh. What's wrong, Squeaky? Oh. Uh, he had a bad dream. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Do you want to tell me about it? I was dreaming that I was in the woods and I was all by myself. I couldn't find anybody. I heard a monster, so I ran. I was so scared. You're okay now, Squeaky. You're safe and sound in the treehouse. 
I turn on the light. See, there's no monster in here. Are you sure there's no monster? I'm absolutely positive. It was just a bad dream. Sometimes dreams can be scary, you know. Do you have bad dreams too? Sometimes. I think most people have bad dreams sometimes. Scary dreams where they're all alone or dreams about monsters. Really? Yeah. We just need to remember that bad dreams can't hurt us. When a bad dream wakes me up, I turn on the light and read for a little while. Will you read me a story? I sure will. How about Book Nook Brook? Yay! I love Book Nook Brook. In the land of book nooks lives a book nook named Brook. A book nook is almost always reading a book. Sign language with Papa B. Joe, I'm thirsty. I want water. Let's learn sign language. I'm thirsty. I want water. Try it again. I'm thirsty. Give it a try. I'm thirsty. Cho, I want water. Cho, I want water. Put it all together. I'm thirsty. I want water. Cho. Practice your sign language, Chaw. This is the alphabet song. It's not very long. Let's do V. V, 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 V. Van. V, 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 V. Vacuum. V. I'm thinking of an animal. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. They sound like this. <laughs> That's a penguin! Well, most of you probably know that penguins live in very cold climates near Antarctica and that penguins are incredible swimmers. But here are a few fun facts that you may not know. There are 18 species of penguins! 18 different species of penguins! Can you name them all? Of course I can! Well, let's hear it. Emperor, King, Royal, Adelie, Macaroni, Gentoo, Galapagos, Magellanic, Humboldt, African, Snares, Fjordland, Little Blue, Yellow Eye, Erect Crested, Northern Rockhopper, Southern Rockhopper, and Chin Strap. That's a lot of Penguins. You will never see penguins and polar bears together in the wild. They both live where it's cold, but polar bears live near the North Pole and penguins live near the South Pole. A group of penguins in the water is called a raft, and a group of penguins on land is called a waddle. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Squeaky. No problem, Mr. B. Tag your it. Oh, I'm going to get you. Tag your it. Oh. Tag your it. <laughs> I'm going to get you. No, you're not. Oh, well, <laughs> well, you know what that alarm means. It's almost nap time. It's time to stop playing. But I'm not tired yet. Well, that's okay. But it is time to relax. So let's all take a deep breath. So on the count of three. One, two, three. <sighs> the first thing I do when I'm trying to relax is listen to some relaxing music. And then I go for a walk. Uh, 
Another thing I do when I want to relax is read a book. Another thing I find relaxing is bird watching. Another thing I like to do when I relax is check out the beautiful view. Remember friends, it's important to relax. So take a little time every day and relax. Here at Mr. B's Seriously Fun Club, we take our fun and our reading seriously. Well, that's why I wrote Book Nook Brook. Well, this colorful story about the great importance of reading will bring life into your home or classroom. Book Nook Brook will rhyme its way into your heart and quickly become one of your child's favorites. Brilliantly illustrated, this book about reading books will capture the imagination and inspire your children to be like Brooke and read more books. Well, visit my website at 123mrb.com and get your copy now. Yeah, get your copy now. I like reading. <laughs>